Hello everyone, this is John Nason from the Quality Management Development Team. Today I'm going to show you some new features in the 2012 beta that's available on Jazz.net. I'm going to focus on efficiently and easily tracking test execution progress and I'm also going to show a couple little UI tweaks here and there and other features as I go along. Uh, today I'm going to be playing the role of a SVT test lead and I want to be able to easily track my status and share it with the rest of the team. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update our, our project dashboard to show the SVT test status. To do this I'm going to add a, a cool new widget that we have in the quality management catalog that allows you to track the status of test plans execution. And seeing how we're focused on SVT in this scenario, I'm going to use a query that I saved earlier that just lists the 1.0 SVT test plan. You could display multiple test plans in this widget if you wanted to, but uh, we're, we have a bit of a narrow focus today. So this is pretty neat. What you're seeing here is this is our system verification test plan for 1.0 and we're getting an at-a-glance view of the progress of execution here as well as estimation. So we're, we're well into testing at this point so it's not surprising to see that we're hundred percent estimated, meaning all of our test cases and test case execution records have estimates applied to them and if we go a little bit over to the right here we're seeing the progress report of the actual execution of those test case execution records. These two empty bars over here are for test suites and we're not making use of test suites in my project so that's why these are just showing up as empty. So I'm seeing we're making good progress, but we still have roughly 33% of testing to go. I want to dig into this a little bit more to see exactly what's going on. And the first thing you might notice when I open this test plan, we include the execution progress right in the landing page of the test plan. So you're getting a nice at-a-glance live view of your current planning and execution for this given test test plan. I want to reemphasize this is live data. So, you know, if you have a 10 a.m. status meeting and it's 9.55, you, rather than dealing with a report, you can just go right to the test plan and see how the execution is progressing. So, I'm happy that we're most of the way done, but I want to get a sense of what's remaining and if we have any roadblocks here that's impeding the team. Um, so I'm going to go, and this is actually new, I'm going to show the test case execution records directly in the plan. Uh, we haven't had this section in the test plan before and I'm actually really excited that we added it because I think it makes it much easier to accurately track what's going on with your, with your test plan's testing effort. And I want to see how the progress is going across my test team. So I'm going to group by owner. And this shows all of the test case execution records group by owner and you're going to see we also have progress bars here too which is really neat. So I can see that Tanuj, he, he, he's gone through all of his execution at this point but Marco, well Marco is dragging behind a little bit. So I want to understand what what's impeding Marco and how much testing we really have left. Uh, so using this view I'm able to quickly see that he's gone through a bunch of his test case execution records. He has a few more that he hasn't even started yet and he has one back from the prior iteration that hasn't even been executed because it's blocked by a defect. And this is actually showing another neat new feature in our test case execution record table. Uh, we, we've added what we call traceability columns across the, the product and this is an example of one of them. Uh, we have the defects column here which shows any defects that are linked to a test case execution. And in this case I'm seeing that 
Marco couldn't execute this test case because he's still blocked by this defect. So as a lead, I may use my interop with the development team to push for this defect to get resolved. Uh, it's blocking Marco's test progress. I can see that here that he estimated that test as one day and two hours. So he's got some time left uh, that he's going to have to catch up once that defect is ultimately resolved. And then I can see down here at the bottom he has a few more that he hasn't even started execution yet. They're all in the S2 iteration, so he just hasn't got around to those yet. But I can quickly see, just by scanning this table, he's got close to three days worth of work left. Finally, my manager is interested in a little more detail on why we're not done with the 1.0 SVT execution yet. So I'm going to provide them with that information. I'm going to go back to the dashboard uh, showing the test plan's execution status. One thing I didn't show you earlier was that these columns are actually clickable, the progress bars. Clicking that will actually show a filtered test case execution record view. This is filtered by the test plan. and I want to send this data to my manager. I think that they're interested in seeing uh, the team's progress and identifying the specific bottlenecks. So unfortunately they don't have access to Quality Manager yet and to be quite honest they're more comfortable working with spreadsheets. One new feature in the 2012 release that they'll be really excited about is the ability to download this data as a CSV file, which you can then open in any spreadsheet program. Now this CSV actually takes all of the columns that were displayed in that table and exports them to CSV. So I could have customized that table, add columns, remove columns, and that data would be accurately reflect, reflected in the CSV file. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this and I'm going to use uh, the Lotus spreadsheet tool to do this. Importing it. Uh, the first column is a URL which is a little long so sorry it's taken up so much screen real estate but if we scroll to the right a bit you're gonna see all of the data from that table is now captured in the spreadsheet it's gonna allow my my manager to slice and dice generate pivot tables uh, do do all of the operations that they're accustomed to doing within a spreadsheet against the quality manager data. I know this is exciting for, for a lot of our customers and I'm excited to show this today. And hopefully this will now give my manager a better sense of where we are in terms of the 1.0's SVT effort and it certainly has given me a better sense of it as well without having to go through uh, running reports, um, just, you know, just being able to access this data very quickly right at my fingertips. I hope you enjoyed the demo today. Thank you very much.